We are joined by Linwood women's basketball head coach Tony Francis. Coach, um, you got your first home win here this season, uh, the home opener against Puerto Rico Mayaguez. Um, just give us your thoughts and how you felt about that game. Well, it's, you know, there's always a little bit of anxiousness is in your home opener. You know, the, the young ladies want to go out and make an impression uh, with it being no school that day and, and the students were already off campus. I thought we had a really nice crowd uh, in, in the stands. So, you know, there was, there was some nervousness on their part. They wanted to go out and, and, and you know, um, like I said, make an impression. In Puerto Rico, you know, they're a difficult team. Uh, they've got a lot of talent. Uh, it's a little unorthodox, and they like to make games ugly. You know, they, they have a lot of mismatches at every uh, position. They're quick. They're physical. They play a different style of basketball down there than what we're used to here. And, uh, you know, I, I thought that for the most part, it was nice to get a win. Uh, it's always, you know, doesn't matter how ugly it is, you get a win. You know, your, your kids feel good about themselves going home. And, you know, we, we fought hard. We did some nice things. We obviously have things we need to improve on. But, you know, one and all at home. We protect the home court, and that's what we care about. Coach, you talked about kids wanting to make an impression, you know, wanting to, you know, play well here at home. Uh, you have three freshmen, Callie, Lindsay, and Gabby. And Gabby, being from St. Charles, had her best game this year so far here in Highland. Um, what do you attest that to your three freshmen have led you in scoring in your first four games? Probably because nobody has a scout on them yet. Uh, you know, they, you can't, they're freshmen. Nobody really cares about freshmen right now. Uh, so uh, I think our upperclassmen are doing a good job of, bringing these young, you know, young players along. Uh, they, they've got some talent, there's no doubt about it. However, they've got a long ways to go from the neck up uh, to bring that sense of urgency every possession to play the game we want to play. They've got a long ways to go and that's where I think our upperclassmen, our leaders, our captains are doing a really nice job. And you know, as far as Gabby playing her first game at home, two blocks from her house, two blocks from high school, I thought she handled that pretty well. She, she pretty much stayed within herself. She didn't try to do too much, and uh, you know I thought she had a really nice showing for her first home game. Coach, you play your final game here in Highland before we start the MIAA season. Uh, you've got two non-conference games left. Um, how important is it, not only here at home, but then uh, next week when you guys go to um, Arkansas Monticello, how big is that to win this game tomorrow against Linwood Bella? Well, I mean, it's you know regardless who it is, we want to keep improving. And I, I've been very impressed since we've come back off Thanksgiving break of how hard the girls have practiced. We've talked a lot about a sense of urgency, not just from the standpoint of, of playing a game hard, but a sense of urgency in each practice, in each drill, uh, in each possession. And I'm starting to see a little bit of carryover from drill to drill and practices and that sense of urgency. And, and if we can continue that into games tomorrow, uh, in the games next week, it's, it's only going to bode well, you know, in the MIAA. I think, you know, the number two team in the nation right now is Emporia State. And uh, they played at Drury the other night, and Drury's ranked 18th in the country in the top of the GLBC. Emporia State didn't even have all their players, and they still won by 20-some. You know, and that just goes to show how loaded the MIAA is. So, you know, that's the challenge we want. We want to play with the best, against the best. And uh, so we've got to take these next steps tomorrow at home, next Monday, you know, one game at a time against Arkansas to continue to play with that sense of urgency, to continue to try to find ways to get better. All right, Coach, thank you for your time, and good luck tomorrow against Linwood Belleville. Thank you. I appreciate it, Blake.